Oh man, this 100 year quest is no short of laughs actually, I have to tell you. I almost have laughed at every single chapter so far, not that they're bad, no, I feel they're very good. And the jokes here, <laughs> well, it just works for me. I like it. Yes, this is me, the angry enemy fan, sorry, but this is one that's late. Fairytale 100 year quest chapter 5. At the beginning, well, of course, uh, Gaiji and Juvia screams at the fact that Toka somehow has a tail, but then suddenly the tail vanishes. And it appears they were the only one who actually saw the tail. Well, they and Panther Lily. While, um, uh, while Levi still thinks that they're overreacting. She is officially suspicious. Well, if that doesn't confirm it, the next part will. We're actually switched to Sabertooth, where it will reveal that Sorano, uh, aka Angel, now that she is known as Sorano, has actually joined the Sabertooth Guild after she was pardoned by the princess. And she is now a darting older sister to her little sister, almost to the point where, uh, um, well, uh, the little sister is, uh, Duke, you know, is a bit embarrassed by her big sister's affection. Also, it's worth noting that Sorano has becoming a lot less uh, modest. Well, granted, she wasn't exactly modest uh, even before she turned over New Leith. Although some can say that she became a little bit of a Karma Houdini because she did kill Karen and then took her spirit keys. And but if you, but I think another person can justify that by saying that Karen wasn't exactly a good person. Although uh, Sorano's angel abusing the spirits didn't really help either. So yeah, now Sorano is still dressed in a little bit more of a, a, a unmodest things. She has stocking shoes, but still appears to have a bikini top and as well as a bikino what is that dress although it only cover only her backside and Jalal is visited as we also see Sting and Rouge both of them looking more manly than ever as they are as they're saying that uh, Sorano is uh, happy being here but a bit noisy of course she is but Jalal is passing through because he was looking for a certain someone seems that even though he's pardoned he still hasn't forgotten his mission well given that he blames himself for a lot of things it makes sense and then he shows a photo of someone that Minerva teases him that maybe he finds someone new interesting and who is that picture well there's none other the picture of none other than Toka and apparently Toka is an alias her real name is unknown but Jalal says if you find her do not interact with her under any circumstances Turns out that Gajil is right. Toka is someone strange. Now the question is, what is she? Okay, here's what we know. She has a tail that she apparently can vanquish at will. She says she can use water magic, but given to the fact that her personality seems very similar to Juvia, that may be a ruse. Jalal is searching for her, and Jalal searched for Sereth. And many other people too before when until they were defeated, meaning that this is someone of sin. Finally, Toka is not her real name, meaning that she's hiding that from it. More than that, why is all the other fairytale members so convinced about her when Gajil and the other and Juvia and Panther Lily are so suspicious? Well, we cannot forget the fact that she mentions Briar's name. The only connection I can do is that maybe this is a some connection to Seraph. I mean, Seraph is long since dead, but uh, what I meant to say is Natsu is when is Seraph's brother, and Briar came from a cult that worshipped Seraph. Is it possible that Toka came from the same cult? Find out that Natsu was the brother of Seraph, and that is why she has a crush on him. I know it's a very bad theory, so we'll let it go. But then we switch back to Elimia as uh, Team Natsu has managed to shake off the fish. And of course, Happy is not happy that he was chased by fish, the ultimate humiliation for someone like him. Well, it's pretty fitting that Carla says it's probably payback for all the fish he has eaten to now. As they all wonder why the fish change, Natsu begins to take the scarf that is covering when, no, Lucy's boobs, saying that she can change into a spirit outfit. Eventually she does, but not before, well, uh, 
Natsu has taken the scarf, yes, because he wanted to. So, um, what they are gonna do later on, they're not sure. As um, although Lucia says that the fish that stole her top may be evil, the other fishes doesn't appear to be that evil. After all, they did give her a potion that could let him breathe on the water. So, uh, and also Lucia is pointing out that as not to saying that they have to defeat the water god dragon, even if it is a god that these fishes are, are worshipping. Lucia is pointing out that uh, Elfir, Elfseria didn't say kill them, he said defeat and seal them. Meaning that uh, defeat could have mean, didn't mean kill. It could mean neutralize them, sealing them, or something else, making them stop. She uh, rationalized it by saying that if we could quiet down a, sig, uh, a rampaging god, then that will be sealing them. Effectively meaning cool them down. I'm a bit surprised that Natsu seems to be very uh, powerly about this, as Ersa is the one who's pointing out that he of all people should know that not all dragons are evil. But he's saying that he will talk it out, but if they hurt her friends, I'll slay them. I mean, Natsu has become a little bit more ruthless. I didn't expect him to be that eager to slay a dragon. Maybe slaying Acnologia with everyone's power awoke a little bit more new bloodlust within him. <laughs> or maybe he's just saying that uh, if they are like Acnologia... <sighs> Sorry. Then maybe he is not... Maybe they're not to be trusted. Then we come to the funny part of it all, as uh, Lucy gets a new idea on how they're gonna get around the city, asking questions of who is this water god dragon, what is this city, and what were the humans that came before them, and what is that? Well, before that, the manager is uh, is trying to calm down his girlfriend, who is re indeed revealed to be a shark, but not the same shark that uh, chased around. It's uh, and how is uh, Team Natsu going to vacate by turning into fishes <laughs> with their human and cat faces? <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, I well, maybe I didn't laugh that much, but I did. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired, but. But I did say, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, again, Natsu has shown a lot of bloodlust this uh, in this manga and this arc. And Grey has shown a lot more of his straight man, you know, only sane man thing. And here he is once again showing it. <laughs> yeah, that guy's not all bad. And we're not all fish as, we're, as Lucia has used Gemini, Gemini's me magic. To help them transform into fishes, but having human faces on. <laughs> but the only one who is not a fish is Wendy, who has been turned into a jellyfish. <laughs> and she even says that is maybe this is karma for blowing away all those jellyfish before. I mean, it's so... <laughs> It's a little bit comedic. And Happy is of course not happy that he turned into a fish, seeing that he was chased by fish and now this. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is it is kind of comedic, you have to agree. So they split up for intel, the manager approaches Grey and does not recognize him a single bit. As uh, Grey just casually asks what happened to the humans that I found the other day. As uh, Natsu actually sends the human, and they swims and find her chained in the cage. As the manager says to Grey, that do you forget we capture one? She will be sacrificed to the Lord Water God. As we see a new character with a new guild crest that we haven't seen before. At least I can s not see. She's a sexy clad young woman with um, an angelic disguises or something the plot thickens no answer is actually answered on who this water god is but the fishes do indeed worship them worship it as a religion so what are the these people's actions is it all connected to Torko or is there something else 
I mean, I'm enjoying 100 year old year quest manga so far. It's really been a ride, ride of barrels of laugh and also some questions. So I'm looking forward to more. If you want more, then like, um, like and subscribe if you want, and give me your thoughts if you have any. And I'll see you all in another.